you to know this place is haunted. About a hundred years ago, the lady of the house couldn't bear children. She lost her marbles and threw herself off the bell tower. Sometimes you can still hear children playing up there, but if you follow the noise, it stops. It's like they're playing a trick on you. <laughs> Why are you telling me this? Sorry. It's just, you look pale, like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's funny. Most girls would be beaming from ear to ear to have the favour of Mr Elton. Please don't mention his name to me. I know they're giving you a hard time down in the kitchen, but it's only because they're jealous. Well, they can have him. I just want to do my job and do it well. I don't want anything to do with him. OK, love. Hey, it's OK. He kissed me, Cora. He kissed me. I just stood there. I didn't want to, but I just froze. And now I can't even do the simplest of tasks without looking over my shoulder in case he's there. That and with the girls in the kitchen making fun of me in the way that I speak, I just don't think that I belong here. Of course you do, Ruth. If everyone knew how bad you were really feeling, they'd stop in a heartbeat. Listen, normally I would tell you to get as far away as possible, to protect yourself but you and I both know you've worked far too hard to get here to just run away at the first hurdle. I promise the rest of us will protect you the best we can. Trust me. They'll understand.